Okay, here's uh, one of their typical uh, application examples. One interesting point to note, that they show the charge and discharge MOSFETs on the positive side here, EB+. The Craftsman C3 batteries put the MOSFETs down on the negative side, essentially between the charging negative post, which would be this EB minus, and then the battery pack negative. If they have sense resistors, I don't see any on the negative side, so they may put those on the positive side, but I haven't seen any uh, current sense resistors, so I don't know if they are doing that function. Also, you can see three serial cell, four serial cell, and where's five? These are 5S or 5 serial packs. I'm guessing that a lot of the added circuitry on the board is for is to support basically one more uh, battery, one more cell. And there's that large diode I'll show you on the circuit board <clears throat> that seems to be across the VC5 if you're looking at their one, two, three, four, it's across the fifth cell. So I'm guessing that they're, uh, they've added a fifth cell on top of the four. So this one does the first four, and then the fifth cell is handled by discrete components. And speaking of the MOSFETs, they have two power MOSFETs on the PCB, both the same. Uh, part number is, it's an inter international rectifier F1404Z. Uh, that's an in-channel power MOSFET rated at uh, 40 volts, 75 amps, 3.7 milliohms. There's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's one for charge, one for discharge connection. And they seem to be controlled by the A254AA, uh, the COP and DOP outputs. Yeah, here's a quick look at the bottom of the PCB. And uh, here's that diode I was mentioning that is across, actually it's across the, see we have, these are the cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, and then the cell 5 connects to the pack positive here and this diode seems to be across that uh, between the fourth cell and the pack positive here so that's why I was thinking the uh, and these other points here connect to the 8254A chip so the, this one, this one, this one, and this one connect but not this one. So, and then that diode is in there. Uh, the other part of interest I'll look at right now is this UP72. And here's a little close up from the USB microscope. It's a Ushia part, 70 degrees centigrade. And I'll take a look, I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, part uh, information page and we'll take a look at that next. So that uh, thermal cutout is a Ushia UP72 motor protector device and here's the web page. It's marked as a 70 degree C part and from uh, looking at this it appears to be a heat sensitive overcurrent device. You can see there's a, a little table here showing current tripping time. This one lists uh, 90, 120, and 145 C parts. But you can see the currents here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 amps. But let me sh get you a picture of the other side of the board where these two pins are. So here we are back on the top side of the PCB. Uh, there's a trace on the other side off of this pin that's similar 
and you can see the trace that's feeding that over temperature over current device and there's no way you're putting 20 30 amps through a trace like that you can compare that here's your battery positive and you can see this is the here's the battery positive power post connection and you can see the amount of of uh, copper you know and here they have plated through holes there's also a trace on the other side of the board there's this is the positive side here's the negative side here's where your MOSFETs connect these are 20 30 amp traces this is not a 20 or 30 amp trace so they must just be using this as a thermostat something that when it gets over 70 degrees C it heats up they don't appear to be putting any current of any sort through that device so that's a interesting thing and I don't see any uh, heavy sense resistors on this board either uh, like you, in the circuit example they showed sense resistors either here's the pack negative and here's the battery post you can see there's a trace here MOSFET through the MOSFET there's some solder connections and you know here's the pack negative here's the battery post there's two MOSFETs in between I don't see any sense resistors here and there's definitely nothing here this is the here's the tabs from the battery the battery positive Here's the wire that hooks to the uh, power post on the battery pack. And I don't think they're doing any current sensing in here. There's no uh, sensing. And they're definitely not doing it with this device because those, uh, those little tiny little traces would blow up uh, well before you got to 20 amps, I think. So let's take a look at the fuel gauge next which uh, plugs in here 